Hello everyone and welcome to Anno 2205 once again Mega City Project. I've already played this game once a year ago for you with the Revolution mod added and this time well we're going with the Revolution mod once again but we're going to make this game even harder than the Revolution mod is doing this. Um, Anno 2205 is the predecessor to Anno 1800 and it's still the biggest Anno up to this day um, and also one of the most complex ones. It's not so complex as with that you have AI opponents which you basically don't have. It's very complex when it comes to logistics and definitely rivals Anno 1800 with that and I can't wait for it. Plus it has beautiful graphics and, and very beautiful atmosphere and story behind it. With that, let's go ahead and create a new corporation. I'm glad you accepted my invitation. Samantha Beaumont, Global Union Supervisor of the Lunar Licensing Program. We have a lot to discuss. But first, I'd like to introduce you to your artificial data amalgamating messenger. Thank you for participating in the Lunar Licensing Program. The program stipulates that your corporation set up operative spaceports to act as bases for a new wave of lunar colonization. You will further assist Global Union in the development of a fusion energy reactor to avert Earth's impending energy crisis. Officially, and yes, well, with that, it's clear we have an energy crisis in the future world um, that is kind of like destroyed by climate catastrophe, and we do need to find new means, and that is going to the moon. But because we need to go to the moon, we also need to go to the Arctic, we need to set settle a couple of sectors, we do need to go to other places as well, and so on. The first one is that we do need to choose a, well, corporation name. And that's going to be the Parnaf Industries. So thank you, Parnaf, for my as one of my supporters. Um, our first um well name. Next up would be a logo. Of course, we go with the banner of the cat as always. And this time we're going to choose Wild Water Bay as our map. So last time we played Viridian Coves with the second wave special project. Um, that is rather big. And this time we're going with Wild Water Bay, which is a single big landmass that we're starting. We still have to start on the small island before we can go to the main island. But that's going to be the major difficulty here. But once we're on the main island, we can really start a massive city with that. Um, Difficulty-wise, we're going with Veteran. I only want to have one exception here, and that is the goods consumption that we're going to place to Medium. We're still in the Veteran League with that, but um, it's basically that we don't need to spam so many buildings of the same type in the end game, right? Because instead of 30 buildings, we then only need, for example, 20, and it just speeds up the end game. Um, flow of the game because I think this is not that much balance. Everything else though is perfectly fine. We're going to get lots of invasions rather early on. We're going to, going to start with minimal money and also income and workforce is going to be very low. Yes, that's right. We also have workforce in this game. I can't wait. I hope you're going to enjoy this one. Thank you to all my supporters. If you want to purchase this game, actually, you can also just have a look at the video description there with a affiliate link to get a special discount. The game is really cheap at this point, but I'm still also getting a little amount of that then as well if you want to um, other than that enjoy this game beautiful as it always is stay tuned all right wild here we are finally in wild water bay the biggest map with the probably the biggest city that we are going to build on that and yes this is all buildable Tina, land the union is impressed with how your corporation is growing hardly surprising you've settled for such a vast sector and I just love that game. It's beautiful. It's a bit linear, but it is still one of the most beautiful annals out there. I gotta say, I've never had the Mega City yet in Wild Water Bay, since that is a DLC map that is not unlocked right from scratch. Alrighty, and here we are now in a completely empty map. We are Corporate Parnaf Industries um, level 1 right now, so on the veteran level as well. We haven't achieved anything yet. As we can see, there's lots of titles that we could upgrade. At the moment, we are a micro enterprise. That's basically it's Corporate level 1. We need to achieve 102 people as starters. We also get our first quest. And well, the main quest of this game basically is very clear. First of all, building a city and also achieving power um, neutrality. So we want to reach uh, diffusion reactors. And for that, well, we have to go to the Arctic, to the moon, to um, the tundra. We have to build a space station along the way. And we need to have lots and lots of skyscrapers. But our whole journey starts here. 
at this little island here where we are bound right now i cannot i cannot settle on the main island at the moment right so we do need to achieve a smaller city first and a bit of money we don't have a lot of money fifty thousand credits that's not a lot and yep basically there we are as always we're starting with a little street i should be a bit careful about though how big i want to make this street um it's probably going to be a two layered uh, we could even make it a three layered road so that it's looking a bit as always but it's very expensive those roads so i'm not going to have too many roads there for starters and we're also going ahead now with our first layout first things first would be our first um yeah let's say houses that we have here nice apartments. Makes me look forward to and the first people are moving in now first buildings we also unlock the first chains with that and we got the workers now the first tier of residents i think they're on four tiers or five tiers um of people energy they have rice they have water organic food and information they want this is the beginning of something big we should really marvel at that and yes we are called parnef industries because basically in the future we don't have cities anymore but corporates um you know doing the stuff and things like that now our first production chain is going to be quite clear we do need more biopolymers biopolymers is a biotech good it's our starter resource and let's just see that we do get this one rather closer to the mountains where we do have then a bit more industry looking around i really should not build so many roads because it's really really expensive so over here we can have our first industry which is going to be the sunflower farm for now um let's have it like that and with that, also the biopolymer factory right away next to it. As we can see, with our first production chains, we are already negative now on the balance. <laughs> so that's a huge problem. Workforce plays also a major role in this one here, right? So we do need to keep a very close track on the workforce as our first robots are now working. Now, something very important that we need to keep track of here now is the 10 polymers that we have as our production. We are also consuming all the bioresins right away from our sunflower farm and biopolymer is going up now. At the beginning, it might sound a bit easy how the materials are coming in, but trust me, this is going to get crazy at some point. We continue with the next houses because we can afford them now. And money-wise, we should be really careful overall of not overextending ourselves here. Let's have the next block of houses then just over here. So basically, well, quite similar to what we are accustomed to at this point. Now, next up would be actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand my industry right away. So we can actually expand each, every, each single industry ourselves quite a bit as well with having modules attached to it. Some of these modules are just extensions. They're just increasing the productivity. And we're going to do this with one of those fields here. Others of them are, well, for example, reducing the workforce maintenance, right? So they're reducing the amount of workers that we need in these factories. Um, and it's a very, very important thing here that we use this one. Um, then we have the energy maintenance. It's very important early on, but once we unlock the moon, um, that's going to be no problem anymore. And also logistics, which I don't really think is necessary. Then we have something that is coming way, way later with the tundra. We're not caring about that. Now, since I've upgraded this one here now we have a surplus of bioresin that means i can now also add some modules to our bioresin factory and that would be right here next to it let's just check that we do this the right way let's add two more modules because then we have an equal balance money balance we don't have so let's continue with expanding our little village for now with a couple more houses your construction crew is one and of we've also reached the next pace. unlock Your competitors will try to perfect water and rice has been unlocked we really haven't still reached level two <laughs> so that is a long way energy is an important thing now so we need to start with our first wind parks while providing the required infrastructure warning all right, we have a bit of a problem right now first of all my balance is really low my biopolymer though is flowing in so we can use this one for some more expansion i'm going to add a few more um, buildings here and here also energy we are negative on the energy right now that means that our facilities are not working properly let's build us the first wind park wind parks we can also then expand i'm going to have the first one here now producing some whopping 68 energy for us uh, actually it's a bit more
And we definitely still have to continue with the building of more houses. And there we have it, corporate level 2. Your global market share has increased. So there we have it still, perfect. And I just love the soundtrack in the background. Absolutely fantastic. Let's have, hmm, I would like to have the information center here most likely or a little, a little park then, right? So we're going to have like that. So this is still our starting city, right? It's not our main city, it's just a village in front of the main center that we're going to have then over there. And this is going to be massive. Um, but for now, we really have to stick with that and follow along with the main quest line that we have here. So your spaceport is furnished. Right now, we have one major goal that is to reach these to reach the space station with our space elevators. Under provision of specific consumer goods. And that is something over here. So that is our spaceport. Kind of like our main warehouse. And we do need to upgrade this one here first. We cannot do this yet since we haven't reached water yet. We need um, 200 workers as a population as well. Going to continue with a few more houses over here. And let's make some smaller blocks here. I like smaller blocks as well. Warning. And since this is going to be a bit more in the center, I might also make some blocks like this. Right? That we can use then here. And we're actually running out of biopolymers now. Money-wise, we're still having a problem. Sorry, it must be uh, accustomed to more comfort. Now, what we should be doing now first is water. Without water, nobody can really live. Um, we do have some coastal sites. Water is actually limited um, with the coastal sites that we have. We have two, three, four, five probably six six coastal sites on this little island here let's start with the first water refinement so that we have over here desalination plant there we have it and it's not enough right it's actually not enough water that we have so i'm going to expand this one by another module here so now we are at plus one right and now water comes in and this is going to help also with the worker population as we can see so it's going up also my balance is now recovering here so that's pretty important Let's build us another one so that we do get a bit of water in here as we continue. Perfect. The next buildings have been unlocked. One of them is New the information center. And that is something I'm going to have here in the in the center of my village and also going to have a smaller park then right next to it. So I'm going to have some houses here. We're going to have then, yep, the information center and a little park here to make this whole thing a bit more beautiful. And then we can have some more blocks of houses here. Oops. Uh, probably like so do. Right, with some ornaments in the middle again. Now, next up mission we have is the infodrome that we do need still. And our balance for the first time is positive as well. For now, it's positive. That's a good thing, obviously. Well, let's just have some more houses here. And as always, we need to check our resources. Water is the most important thing right now. Also, Nick Papadakis is introducing himself. He's kind of like our trader in this area. So we do have a couple of um, NPCs, of course, as well. So there we have Nick Papadakis. He will sell us some stuff if we want to. He can also purchase some stuff. Um, over here we have the special sector project. This is pretty cool. But we don't have a ship yet, so we cannot do that. Oh, actually, we do have a ship. Yes, we do have our ship already. There it is. So with that, we could actually start with a few things all right. But I want to focus a bit more on the city for now. And out here, let's have some normal blocks again. Like that. Righty. Just beautiful. Let's actually build us our first infodrome. Energy-wise, it's going to cost us. 
a broad range of information services. This will enable your employees to develop their interests as well as their skills. Perfect. There we got this one. Now information is the first service building as always. We do have the information now with that. A few more people are coming in. Also more money. And level 3 that we have reached now. Did we unlock a new title? Nah, we're still, we're still a tiny, tiny industry. A no-name company at the moment. But we're trying our best here. Now here in this little center, we could then have like some ornaments. I love the ornaments in this game because they adjust themselves to how big we make them, right? So we have certain different kind of um, parks available and they always look a bit different depending on the size of them. And we're going to have a nice beautiful park here with some fountains then. But as we can see, they're really expensive. I cannot afford this at this point with our 45,000 at the moment. What we can uh, afford is our next industry and that would be our rice so rice is the next product and organic food and with organic food we're going to see the first change that we have with the revolution mod and that is that organic food actually consumes now water and rice at the same time that we need to um, work on here so let's continue um, i do need now also some logistic transportation center over here so the further away we build um, industry from our main port we do need those warehouses then and let's have us the first one in this area. And of course, I will also need a bit more energy. For that, I can still use those modules now that are going to add a bit more energy then as well. Let's build two for now. And here we actually have then another desalination plant. How's it looking, by the way, with the water? We might, we might just need to add another desalination plant then. Let's have the first rice farm Sorry over here. And the rice farm, as we can see, does need some modules right away. And that's going to be quite expensive. Right, so that's our first one with 23 surplus now. That's good. My people like it. But organic food at the same time is still not fulfilled. That's the next factory that is coming into play here. Organic food. We might make this one... Gee, that's tricky. I might make the first one... Actually, right here, on the other side. And here, we need to be very careful now with the consumption. It's also consuming quite a lot of energy. Alright, and I think it's also time to have another rice farm. That's that. And for energy, we also have unlocked now the solar panel array. This is a new modded building that gives me quite a lot of energy, but it's costing quite a lot. 15,000. I will only be able to build one of them for now. Um, otherwise, I'm going bankrupt if I'm not too careful. So we should also achieve 100% efficiency with that. And let's just place this one where we don't have that much space, like here in these corners. Energy shortage. Perfect. I think it actually needs a road. There it is. <laughs> Perfect. There we have a bit of energy. We have now also all the goods and thus my workers finally for the first time want to upgrade. And also level 4. Company trademark. Perfect. We have every resource that we need for our workers. It's time for the upgrading. Let's upgrade our first houses. All systems online. Can't wait to get started. And the operators are moving in. Tier 2 is in the city. You've assembled construction crews and ground personnel fast. And I love those buildings. You are more than ready for the first major hurdle. The program demands you connect your city with the Global Union Space Station via a space elevator. So far, only megacorps like the Big Five use such technology. But I'm sure you have the same potential. Alrighty, operators, they come with lots and lots of new goods. Also, with the Revolution mod, we have some new products that we need to create. They want now the vitamin drinks, the rejuvenators, rejuvenators, neuro implants. That's not something we can do on this map anymore. And the fine food. Of course, they're also paying us a bit more, so that's that. Let's have a few more. Now, while that is happening, we also have a new building resource, the constructor bots. So a new material that we need to create. Let's just have a look at that. There we have it, the robo assembly hole. And for the robo assembly hole, well, we do now need the quarry that we have over here. And we also have the cobalt mine that we have over here. 
and now we're getting the first resources in and we still need the constructor bots lots of energy that costs us and also lots of space i'm going to have this one only up here now good you've gathered the components needed for the elevator only the elevator cable requires special materials so we're still in the space elevator program let's just have one more module Attention. for each one of them of specific consumer goods detected i love those buildings beautiful and let's also get us the next module up um i guess we can actually have three in here so let's have the first one and that is perfect we have an equal balance um the only thing now i need is the road to that desalination plant Righty, and resources are coming in. Let's upgrade the next houses. And check our consumption right away. Water is now low, so water is out. Of course, we still have a storage for each resource. Um, in that case here, we still have 34 water stored, but we have a negative uh, consumption now, or we have, well, no surplus anymore, so we do need to attend to my water. There we have the next desalination plant that I would like to build. Water is going to be a major problem. We don't have a lot of that. Alrighty, let's have a look at our mission there, the space elevator. So a long way to go. Your space elevator will lead directly to the Global Union's orbital headquarters. We still need to produce the vitamin drinks and 1000 operators that we need for that. Well, we don't have a whole lot of space, so we better be efficient about our space usage in this area. Um, let's have the major, the major road ends in this area anyway, so we can have some more blocks of houses. They are going to consume some more energy than in the area and information as well. As we can see, this infodrome here alone is not going to do the trick. So we're going to need another one, most likely over there in this area. I'm just going to add a few more. And let's just have a look at the vitamin drinks. They do need the fruits that we have here, the fruit plantation, and then the vitamin condenser. And for that already, we also need constructor bots and lots of money. We're low on money and it's only getting lower with all the new buildings. We have a few biopolymers again. What I would like to do with that now is my vitamin drinks. Now let's just really have a close look at the city. Where should the city end and our industry begin? Now I definitely will have this whole block here still with houses. Here we are going to have the rice farms. And I might still then have this area for industry. Up here we still have another coastal site that I definitely would like to use. So let's have this one going all the way up there there we have the mount hill side um so that means i can basically have some more industry in this area let's continue let's have the fruit plantation as our first operator um production chain so that's this one here of course definitely consuming a lot of workforce once again they need space though quite a lot of that right and actually we need to turn them like that only this makes sense so I can have several of them here along the road 32 we have so far let's have our first vitamin condenser new buildings have been unlocked and we have the infodrome shortage so let's continue with the next infodrome um, definitely going to have it over there this is going to add a bit more to it. I think every citizen has now enough information. We might also have another one down here then. Since I have the biopolymers, let's continue with some more buildings here. Though we should be careful now of not getting too far into the industry area. Thank you. 
And of course, as always, we are continuing with the upgrading. We've also unlocked the first titles here, as we can see. So we are now a micro enterprise <laughs> on our way to the planetary consortium that we have over there. Um, yeah, of course, with each level, we unlock new things like increased storage capacity. Um, we do get new ships for our fleet and also um, increased credit limit that we have then. Um, plus, we get a small bonus of credits then as well on top of everything. Perfect. The next houses we can upgrade. Let's just check our resources. Oh, rice and water is negative again. We're going to run into problems here. There we have another one. Uh, let's just have one more module. Workforce 300. So that is still fine. But we are going to run into workforce problems soon enough. I'm going to... It's just amazing here. Let's just see. Rice. We definitely do need to do something about that. We have enough rice fields for now. Uh, yep. So I'm going with another rice field over there. And that should still be enough for now. Oh yes, vitamin condenser though. We do need more modules here as well. So as we can see, it's already starting to happen a bit that we are getting into a bit of a pressure here of adding more and more modules and thus consuming more and more space. Going to upgrade a few more here. Probably here we're going to have a police station then. So we should have unlocked the police station by now. Uh, nope, not quite yet. Alright, let's continue with the upgrading because we definitely want to reach the 1000 operators for our next quest milestone. And we probably should also have a few more here. Perfect. The city center is starting to form. And we should be reaching 1,000 people. Start Perfect. The elevator construction once all other requirements are met. My associate, John Rafferty, is already heading here with the special material deliveries. And this is not over yet. We continue now to go to the headquarters and to our starport over here. And over here, we're now con beginning the construction of the first frame here for our space elevator. Yeah, Rafferty here. Miss Bowman assigned me to ensure the transport safety. Approaching your sector, over. Code Red, we're under attack. Code Red. Damn it, the cargo. Protect the ship. People of Earth, this is the manifesto of the Moon's independence. The Global Union waged war on us for generations with weapons like falsehood, negligence, and exploitation. And the LEC bowed its head in servile compliance. But not anymore. Set no foot on the land of our forefathers. We are the orbital watch. The moon is free. And yes, there we also get kind of like the pirate faction, the, the orbital watch. Nowhere. Sunk all my ships and took over the cargo. Now they're blockading the whole sector. No transports are going to make it through anymore. And our little Scotsman well, here, John, is not happy with that. Meet Rafferty at the coordinates transmitted. Do whatever is necessary. Now, let's get into the world map for this very first military mission that we have. Um, as we can see, this is the full scope of the game. <laughs> so, there's the space station that we need then. There's the moon. There's the Arctic. There's all the buildable maps that we have on this game. Um, and there we have our first mission. Just one scratch and I'll... There. That's where the flaming cowards attack us. Still circling our cargo ships like a swarm of black flies. And I see they brought reinforcements. Gotta be careful. I've seen them before. They've no compunctions at all. Press past their blockade and free our ships. I got your back. And here we are with our small... Well, beginning fleet, beginner fleet, and we do have now one mission, and that is destroy the Obel Watch commandos to free the hijacked ship. This one over there. Now, this is a bit different than Anno 1800, for example, because this is always a separate mission for the military stuff, and we do have our little fleet that we can upgrade with advancing our city. 
We're under fire. And also very important is the special items that we do get from time to time, like this missile strike here that we can then use. And we should also be using some repairing and stuff like that. We continue. Up here we have the next one. There's some mines that we need to be very careful about. Green to go. There's, for example, a smaller fleet. Let's take care of them. On our way. Green to go. And I'm going right for the way. hijacked transport ship. We could also use, once again, a missile strike over there. We should not be destroying those ships. And I definitely do need some repairing as well for my ships. And perhaps also some protection. Oh, they're tougher than I thought. Oh, we are not we are not taking care of them so quickly. <laughs> I thought this would be quicker. We still have one defense that I should be using. But certainly not more than that. Also a missile barrage taking care of those guys there. That should be the end of it really. Perfect. That was our first mission. We also get a nice little reward. Our military level and rank is increasing with that. And for now, we cannot upgrade any of our ships. We do have quite a lot of ships then ready I'm for the future. Let's get back home. This attack gave everyone at the Union headquarters shock, but the program has to go on. We've lost it has to go to on. Excavation corps. It seems many moon colonies aligned with the orbital wall. Hi, trench coats. My name. I figured out a plan. Maybe not all on the up and up this thing, but it's worth it. You want in? Of course, I want in into this beautiful project that we have over there, but not right now. Right now we have one goal, finalizing our space elevator. Cable firmly attached. Elevator car ready for departure. Attention. Approaching Global Union Space Station. Prepare for docking. And thus we have connected ourselves with the Global Union Space Station. The first step into space. All purviews of the global economy are now accessible for you. Phase two of the lunar licensing program starts now. And it does with the Arctic that we're going for next. So we have the rejuvenators, the fine food and the neural implants. Stuff that we can't really do here. So let's have a look into our global map. All your actions will fall under the supervision of the Arctic custodians. Let's have a look at their territory. And over here we have it. We can now choose our first Arctic sector. We can ultimately go for all of them if we purchase them from the competitors then at some point. Um, but for now, um, we have those three available. Each one of them has special realities and special projects. This one here is for logistics. This one is for rare materials and this one is for ornaments. Ikuma Glacier, towering mountains reaching up Ikuma Glacier, le leaving little room for else. Many disused oil rigs still afflict the sea and the Arctic custodians keep close watch on them. Around 35,000 acres. Let's go with Archaea Flows since that offers us the most building space for now. It also gives us the technicians that we want to have here. So credit maintenance. Oh, newer implant production is increased and that's exactly what we want. Welcome to phase two of the Lunar Licensing Program. You are now authorized to enter the Arctic region and access its deposits of rare resources to implement new means of galactic travel. Your official contact person will give you more information. On our way to our own rocket, we go to the Arctic. 
It's the Arctic Custodian's climate stabilization technology that keeps the temperatures below zero here. I'm Dr. Howard Young. I speak for the Arctic Custodians. First, allow me to be clear. We expect you to abide by our directives at all times. The Arctic ecosystem is very delicate. Respect these rules and we'll get along just fine. Yes, and thus welcome to the Arctic. Right. We do get a little ship Time here. To make some improvements. And we have, as we can Not see, exactly lots of space once welcome, again. But let's just proceed with phase two. We need Claim Arctic an Arctic region and build so we a warehouse. The base of operations on one of these islands. We got a few islands available. Which one should we go for? You want. All of the islands are suitable. Uh, this one has a very good central space here for a bigger Arctic settlement that we need then at some point. This one has a nice lake in the middle and definitely the most space that we have out of all of them. Business, yeah, just consider dropping by, okay? And that is a beautiful little island here that we can take. Let's claim the first island. Like so. With the acquisition of this island, you earned the mining rights for this area. The Arctic Custodians will watch you like a hawk from now on. And now it's getting really expensive. We're already pretty low on the money side. Your basic infrastructure. The heating standards alone will be a challenge. And we can now start with our first little, well, main island or main road here once again. And our first mission would be now to attract protectors, 25 of them. So we do need 10 Arctic dwelling dwellings. Um, we also need heat sources, canned food and metal foam. Um, we do have a bit of metal foam, not a whole lot. Um, let's start with the first ones here. Heat plays a major role in the Arctic, so we do need to be very close to heating areas, um, like this one there. And I guess we can start with those little settlements I here. Promise, we won't give the custodians anything to complain about. Construction options expanded. And perhaps also on that side here. So this is now within the perimeter still. I think this one we can still also add to the area. Perfect. They're not really paying us a lot of resources though. That's going to be a major problem. And what we need to start with first would be now our metal foam production. Very expensive. Let's build the mine over here. It's also costing us energy. 20. We need to be very careful about the energy here. Workforce is also really low. There we have that, and let's have our first factory. I would like to place it so that Fine. we can Your add more houses then to the area. Enough. You are permitted to continue the expansion of your spaceport within reasonable limits. Well, that's exactly what's on the agenda right now. The orbital watch is still threatening the Union trade routes. You have to establish your own shipping docks at the spaceport. And there we can have now quite a few more blocks than of houses right next to it and with that we've also started our first little well metal foam production uh, workforce is already negative though that's going to be a problem here perfect and next up would be more protectors obviously we also get our space station mission but that is really far in the future as the space station will cost us millions of credits well, you get through the day. not something we can do right now we should of course not neglect the old world, as we are calling it now, World War II Bay. Um, we have now two worlds to handle. Um, that's going to be our main challenge, more or less, beside the energy. We can still upgrade a few more houses, since we do have the resources. I might also continue here, and a few more blocks here, and also on that side there. I like to have organic looking cities, so we are going to grow from the center to the outer areas. Um, let's also have some more houses here, here, and here. Now, energy, Why vitamin is going down with that. Um, let's build us the next, the next farm. Never guessed you'd be so conservative. Come on, make your voice count. A mysterious woman is approaching us. Can never be a good thing. Level six, we have reached as well. Oh, energy-wise, workforce-wise, it's also looking rather dim at the moment. We have now vitamin drinks again. Mm. 
I might need to, I might need to have, can we have another block here? Yes. One more for a bit more energy. And then I might be having a look at that. Perfect. That's it for now. I'm certainly not going to add more to that. <laughs> as we're pretty much at the end for the vitamin then. But, 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 but I can use this to upgrade more houses. And let's keep a close watch on vitamins because we need to export some of that to the Arctic now then as well. Absolutely beautiful. Perfect. In the Arctic we have a few more metal foams available again so I can continue with building a few more houses. Here, this one, we can actually expand then with some modules next to it. Um, <laughs> Space-wise, eh, yes, very good, those two. But that's the end of it for now. Here we can still add a few more now. This one. We still have a bit of energy, so let's use that to get the first fishes out. And with that also to get the first canned food factory out. And this one we're going to use once again here to have um, some heated area for my people. So it's more or less going to be here. But I wow. think we actually do need to purchase hey, something. Thanks for coming over. Oh boy, that's expensive though. Hmm. Good choice. Thanks, very livable. If you don't mind the cold. That was the first trade now that we had to do. And with that we can now build our canned food. Here. And let's also build us the next one. With the canned food now we do get a bit of workforce back nuts. in again. So it's production scary. is starting. Which is especially important here for the cannery. That we have in that case here. Oh boy, the workforce problem is really, really evident right from the beginning okay perfect with a bit of a pain here we got to the next stage of our mission so starting upgrading your spaceport in akia flows to the global spaceport um that's going to be expensive i have a feeling yes it's going to cost us the metal fumes and metal foams we don't have a whole lot of them i'm still also fighting a bit here with my shortage of food for my people um let's build us another module Whew. Uh, then I would need a geothermal plant, the first one actually, in in many um, that we can have over there. So let's get us a road to this area, which in turn costs 2,000 again. Nope, we have to wait here now, right? We have to wait. Let's get back to Wild Water Bay. We need more money. That's a pretty important thing right now. Let's have a look what we are missing here. So... The fruits is fine, water is pretty low, um, but high enough that we can still upgrade a few more. Here and here. That's it, we cannot upgrade more because we are above the upgrading rights now. So we cannot upgrade any more buildings. What I can do is I can build some more normal houses then. Workforce too low to meet production requirements. Is there something the matter at work? So let's just upgrade those. Those are probably going to be the last houses um, that we have on that side. And more information would be needed again as well. Now, since we do lack a bit of money here, what we can do is we can actually start selling a few goods to the space station already. Um, space station or space routes themselves, trade routes, cost something. But for now, what we actually have too much in Wildwood to pay for now is the robots. So let's just sell the 20 robots that we have for 1,200 on the credit balance. There. So we double our income there for this period of time. Transfer of course, we don't have construction operation. materials not being produced in Wildwood to pay. But for now, we can use that money to expand our little settlement here. And what we actually need to do here is, well, we need to continue with the fish production, the canned food production. Since as long as this one is down, we have a problem with people. So let's get the next buildings along this area. 
I will need to use some of that money that we're There's earning right now with purchasing more canned food. It is brutal how much of that we need. I never expected it. Attention. Staff shortage slowing down production. Yes, we have the shortage. Um and I think we're going down on the canned food right away. Yep. So this is the great So I need another fish module over here. Righto. But now we are low on energy. <laughs> and I can build one more module here. Four to five thousand. Once we have that. Let's build it. Now we are low on energy, but it, I think it's still it's still fine. Oh. All right. Let's actually start the spaceport the program. Earth barely healed wound. Let's see what happens when I braid it. Warning: Climate stabilizer network. And we do get the next attack anomalies. coming in. External manipulation detected. Systems not responding. Stabilization values approaching critical level. They have the whole climate stabilizer network under their control. You are responsible for this. It's the lunar licensing program that brought those terrorists here. Consider our support suspended and keep out of our affairs. Yeah. All righty, the next mission. Um, what is actually happening is that we are pretty attacks. well on the way here for the Arctic spaceport. Jorgensen is right. We have to interfere. Official admission. And we do now have to de do the next mission. The Either we reach the next station. corporation level or, or we do this mission. If you must. Next corporation level though is way too far away and I can't upgrade so many people right now. Spaceport. So the Quanitar really conflict zone up. is I'm going no to be it. Mind taking the f how we're supposed to cope with such a force exactly. Glad you're not letting us down here. Long and ago, thus starts the second the military mission. The weather. We will prove them right. Yeah, we are now. We do have some side quests here that I'm going to skip for now. Free the climate stabilizers. We do have them over here. So they're at the moment being, well, hindered or blocked. And yes, there's also more damage coming in already. So we need to be very careful on this mission. Um, there's lots of those sea mines there as well. I can shoot at them. And they explode and take everything in their surroundings. So I should not get too close to them as well. A ship that is lost is permanently lost. So I would lose the mission if I lose a ship here, I think. There we have some more sea mines. Let's just get rid of them. And there's also some more ships again. We got an EMP pulse and some repair kits. As we continue, Green to go. there's no battleships in these missions yet. That's a good thing. All hands engage. Oh, there's actually some mines in there, so I might just destroy the mines and just destroy the whole structure. Perfect. And engage. also, I need the first repairs. Target acquired. Green to go. Oh, I need to be careful there. Let's have the EMP pulse. This is totally disabling them at least. It actually also exploded here, no idea why. And we can do now then those. There is one down, there is the second one. Let's also repair my ships there real quick. Perfect. And then we have one more over there, but there is some actually some ships. Also some sea mines there. Let's disable them. Perfect. Actually, we destroyed them once again. No problem. Perfect. And the second mission. So this is still a rather introductory mission to the whole thing. But at least we should be leveling up. Perfect. You're back? Now how's the status? I must admit, I underestimated you. My apologies. Be and with that, we, we also can finish now, finally, the spaceport I'm sure expansion. I'm seen the last of them. But the Global Union will not give in to Drake's demands. The Lunar Licensing Program must continue. And that means that we can finally now the have our trade route between Wildwater Bay and the Arctic. Drake must have secret supporters. And that's going to be our vitamin drinks. strong presence on the moon. 
and this should now solve my workforce problem. To send a fleet of colony shuttles up there. And it Time is. To conduct some space technology research. Because the vitamin drinks Being are another need to for those, those protectors. Temperatures all day, your Arctic staff will sure appreciate the extra vitamins. Perfect. And we've also unlocked some more buildings now, thanks to having more protectors. And as we can see now, we do now have the permanent income of the vitamin drinks from Wild Water Bay. Energy shortage. And with the workforce, I can now start two other things. The first one would be energy. By the way, have we unlocked any other energy production? Nope, I don't. So we do need to have the geothermal plant turbines over here. Attention. This is at least producing a bit of energy. And another thing that I can do now is increase my fish production. So as we can see, we can still have another module. I should be doing that here. And let's actually have another one and another fish module then as well. Oh boy, at least for now we are equal there, perfect, and I can still add a few more houses to the area. Now, our next mission would be producing the new implants. Oh my goodness, I'm afraid of them. Back in Wild Water Bay, what we actually need to do is I need to expand now my productions. Um, we still need to grow a bit in this area too. I do need to have another solar power array. Um, 15,000 credits. Uh, under provision of should we rather go with the wind detected. park? I might also just go for another wind park. That is something we can have over there. Producing a bit of energy for us. That we need for the fruits. Our vitamin drinks. And even in Wild Water Bay, we are coming closer to the workforce problem now. Not the bad. workforce limit that we have. We can still have a few more modules here, I think. Transfer route inefficient. Cost. And now we have a workforce shortage. Now, let's just check this one. What is consuming a lot of workforce? The mines usually do this. Yep, 83. So we might now have the first drone racks. These are reducing the amount of uh, workers we need, but they cost 5,000 for each one of them. So let's have one for now. This should actually solve a bit. But we really cannot afford more at this point. Let's also expand our houses that we have in the area once again. So, yes, perfect. We can squeeze that in. And another one here. Workforce is important. Here, some more. And I'm so out of money, we cannot even build some ornaments and stuff like that. That's the end of the city. Here, we can still squeeze in some more houses. So let's do that, the whole row, just beside our farm. right -o. With that, the water is also going down. So let's build us another water desalination plant. Just one, because we really cannot afford more at this point. Okay, since the city is growing, we need one more thing here, and that is more information. So those guys here are totally out of it. Um, those buildings, unfortunately, cost, well, once again, energy. Let's have another one down here that we can still add. Of course, this, once again, reduces my energy. So let's also have some more wind parks. They don't cost that much money. We still should keep upgrading, so I'm still going to add a few more operators to the whole area. With that we have also unlocked a few more buildings again. New blueprints ready for implementation. Actually, I'm going to get rid of those guys here because we're going to have the police station there. I think we've just unlocked the police station. There it is. Perfect. This is going to offer now something new, and that is security. So I'm going to build one of these. A hundred energy it costs me. Phew. Okay, that's possible, but it's tight. Warning. Unfulfilled demand. There we have it. So this one is another need that my people want. And with that, we are also increasing the workforce and level 7. Perfect for our banner of the cat. Company and a local business. We are soon, at least that is something. And look at the city. We now have flying cars. 
in the city center. Of course, we are only at tier 2 at the moment. And another very, very bad moment for that one is the Orbital Watch has occupied one of my islands and it's actually Wild Water Bay. They're actually occupying this one here. There they are. This is bad because it basically halves my income, right? And those ships are now in the sector. I need to call now my fleet to action. We are under attack. Fleet ordered to location. We're As we can fire. see. Quite a lot of ships, and there's also a Dreadnought Enemy ship. This biggie here, we will not be able to destroy this biggie there, but we will hopefully be able to destroy at least 15 ships. So, we are really only positive because we have the trade route profit right now. I think we should also see that here. Yes, we're getting 1,400 from the world market, but that's it, right? Otherwise, we would have been bankrupt already. Right. That was a good thing then, after all. And let's move my ships now and destroy some of them. It's working quite similar to the missions. Here they come. Weapon systems online. On our way. And we should be very careful about not getting too close to that dreadnought. That's going Open to be a problem fire. otherwise. And I'm hoping that they also drop some we'll items for ahead. us because I would like to heal my ships at some point. We're barely doing any damage. We've, by the way, also unlocked the world market. So with that, also the other competitors are now in the game and we can actually compete with them financially. Copy that. Yes, they're all firing on this one here. Let's get this away. On our way. I still cannot repair. But I can have that EMP pulse. All hands now we can repair. Pooh, that was very close. We almost lost the ship there. Underway. Another EMP pulse that I like. Let's go for those two. How many more ships do we need to destroy? Uh, still We're seven. There is a few more. Oh boy. You will need to be careful. These people are shooting. Nope. Um request military support. What? You are now under attack too? I can't do both of, of us <laughs> at the same time. Where's another group of ships? This one here. Because I can still have my EMP pulse in this area. But that is very close here. Plus my ships are going down. We've mine. On our way. And that we've lost our one of our major ships. That is really bad. And we've lost the second one. We only have one ship now. Missile barrage. That is something we can on use. Um, I would still have to destroy three ships. Underway. All right. Let's attack them. We are under attack. Launching. Okay, I'm using the missile barrages there and my <laughs> my defense. Yep. Ah, I don't have enough anymore. Okay, I think we've lost this mission there. <laughs> I don't have anything anymore. We're lacking one ship. I cannot get rid of one ship. Fortunately. Can I still go with another support fleet? Nope, I don't think so. I think this is the end. Identifiers on our way. Let's attack this one there. Here they come. Nah. Alright. Now we have a problem. Because I can't drive them back. And we actually have to wait now 30 minutes uh, before they go away again. And yeah, I can't advance in my city. So far, that is a very, very bad beginning. Stay tuned. <laughs> 